We're facing a shortage of doctors in the United States, anywhere between 40 and 100,000 doctors by the year 2030. And yet, getting into med school is harder than ever. What gives? Hey Savvy Premeds, Rob here. To understand why it's so hard to get in, consider that getting into med school is significantly harder than getting into college. Let's just take something simple, application ratios. UCLA undergrad gets 19 applications for each spot in their incoming class. UCLA med school, 83 applications for each spot. So the first reason it's so damn hard to get into med school is that there is more competition for fewer spots. Second, the competition itself is self-selecting. So only a quarter of pre-meds who start college make it to the application process. By the way, that's the same dropout rate as Navy SEALs. And it's gotten so hard to get in that I've often met with fourth time applicants, students who have applied and failed to get in three times to med school. The third, the applicant pool knows how hard it is to get in. The average MCAT is going up, for example, rising by 1.8 points over just the last two years. Candidates also have more clinical experience, more research, more leadership, and many are taking gap years to try to build their applications. More broadly, we might dub this the child prodigy effect. Parents in the United States are having fewer children and they're treating each child like he or she is Tiger Woods, putting the metaphorical putter in their hands younger and younger, or in this case, maybe it's a microscope or high school research internship. The end result is a more qualified applicant pool. The final reason it's so hard is we don't need more doctors generally, we need more doctors in the neglected parts of medicine, to practice in rural areas or urban underserved areas and in the least glamorous specialties such as primary care and geriatrics. For those who have grown up in those areas or those who have spent years serving the underserved, then it isn't so damn hard to get into med school. So the takeaways are three. Number one, spend time volunteering with the patient populations you hope to serve, especially if you think that might be an underserved group. Two, find an activity that helps set you apart from other pre-meds, something different you'll bring to the incoming class at a med school so that you don't look just like everyone else applying. And three, don't apply until you're 100% ready and take a gap year if you need it. Want to figure out whether you're ready? Join our free community of premeds at SavvyPremed.com. Discover a better way to apply with articles, tools, and tips to help you on your journey to medicine. And if you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe for new videos every week.